I'm Nancy Silverton. I'm the founder of La Brea Bakery and co-owner of Osteria and Pizzeria Moza in Los Angeles and Orange County and Singapore. And I'm here to answer questions from the Serious Eats community. Epizaz asks, in the Moza cookbook, you offer a pizza dough recipe that has been altered and suited for home ovens. How does this recipe differ from the La Brea Bakery dough recipe? The recipe in the Moza cookbook for the pizza dough and the recipe that we actually use at the pizzeria are very, very similar. The pizza dough recipe at the pizzeria is a dough that is fermented much longer than the dough that is in the book. And I did that just so the home baker could sort of be a little bit more spontaneous when they came to the decision of making pizza or not. They didn't have to plan two days ahead of time. Um, so if you want to make a dough that is a little bit more similar to the one that we use at the pizzeria, just plan ahead for two days. Keep your sponge longer and your dough longer and keep it a little bit longer after it's shaped into the dough balls. Um, but what I did do with the recipe in the book is I added a touch of wheat germ to give it a little bit more complexity in the flavor, a little bit more sweetness that wheat germ adds to kind of compensate for a shorter fermentation time. But other than that, it's all the same. I don't make my pizza dough with a sourdough starter. I make it with a uh, sponge using compressed baker's yeast. I have a touch of rye flour in there, barley malt, white flour, water and salt.